Assalamu alaikum, Diecast Emporium fans. Today, kind of a bittersweet uh, unboxing, if you will. Inside this box that you are now seeing is, to the best of my knowledge, the last casting to be released by Tonkin Replicas under the Caterpillar license. So, it comes in this outer shipping box. And inside, we find... In 150th scale, the Caterpillar Triple 5D Skitter. Very, very nice looking. Uh, if you'll bear with me for just a moment here, I want to grab a couple other things for demonstration purposes. And uh, then we'll go ahead and get this thing unboxed and take a quick look at it. But uh, first things first, the Triple 5D adds to Caterpillar's 40 years of designing and manufacturing skitters. The D-Series delivers more productivity at a lower operating cost. The engine inside this machine is a 275 horsepower CAT C 7.1 Assert engine and the grapple capability of 22.2 feet squared. Finally, this machine weighs in at 49,263 pounds. Now, if you look at the top of your screen periodically throughout this video, you will see uh, little suggestions that pop up on your screen. Um, they will be for other skitters that I have in my collection, should you want to compare that review to this review. And also one of those will be of my complete logging collection I did a couple years ago. So let's not waste any more time. Now you guys have stared at this for about 30 seconds. Go ahead and pop this thing open and have a look at her. As always, when you open the left side of the box, you get a collector card. So there it is. Tonkin 5.5, or a triple 5D skitter. This one has some snow chains on it, which looks pretty nice. And there are some specification details on the back, which eh, didn't look like I was that far off. So, hey, pretty cool. I get my statistical information straight from the Caterpillar website and not these collector cards. But... That's neither here nor there. Out she comes. I'm doing a quick wiggle test. I don't see any loose pieces in the box, which is always a great thing. Take it out, and you're good to go. Just the lighting a little bit here. Check out some nice details on this machine. There we go. All right, so you can see that the cat paint is a great finish. Um, let me get a pointer tool here as well. Point out some of the smaller details. Right here you can see some very nice warning decals. The cabin itself actually has a mess finish, mesh finish, excuse me, try saying that five times fast, or even one time in my case. But if you rub your finger over it, you can actually feel that material. As far as functionality, the articulation is very, very limited. You can see that that is the extent either left or right. Moving towards the front of the machine to the dozer blade. That fails to touch the ground. As you can see, I can stick my pen all the way underneath it. This is just a bit of packing material to make sure that the grill... Um, Stays in good shape. Nice Caterpillar logo. Black plastic cover on it. Uh, very disappointed to see that the dozer blade, at least on my review model, does not go all the way to the ground, but it will raise up at a good carry position. Over here, some nice grilled detail that is etched through. Hopefully my camera will auto-zoom, and you can see... Well, there we go, right there. And you can really appreciate the detail that went into that. Towards the rear of the machine where the business end is, here's obviously your grapple. Opens up to there. A moderate degree of stiffness, which is good. So let's see if it can uh, carry any logs. Dropping this thing down a little bit. Okay. And there you go, guys. So it will 
carry and drag any logs that you want it to, or in this case, sticks found in your backyard. There's always no expense spared here at Diecast Emporium for demonstration purposes. But uh, yes, the metal grapple is strong enough to carry that. One of the last things I wanted to show was a comparison between the Triple 5D and the Norscott Caterpillar 545, which is also a grapple skitter. That came out in 1999, and it was offered in the grapple configuration, as well as a winch, but the winch didn't have winch lines or anything like that. It was just a casting. But you can see the two machines are pretty similar in size. Obviously, the Triple 5D is much um, taller and wider. At least the wheelbase is a lot wider, and the tires are a lot wider. There you go. End to end. And close up the grapple on this. The triple five is much longer. I wouldn't say much, but significantly so. But there you go. I know a lot of you guys have the old Norscott 545, as I do. It's a great model, great skitter. And it's really nice to see that Caterpillar green lighted a um, new updated skitter. And to be honest with you, I think it's kind of a fair send-off for Tonkin Replicas. Uh, when you think back to a couple years ago, obviously they uh, their first year with the CAT license, they focused on the loaders. Towards the end of that year and into the following year, they focused on some forestry machines. So it's kind of nice that it's come around full circle and you get to see the Triple 5D. So that's about it, guys. Again, I purchased mine from Central Valley Models. So make sure you go to their eBay page. You can pick up just this machine or you could pick it up with one of the Cheater XL um, low boys and with a CT660 truck. Or you can um, just, like I said before, you can just buy the machine. But a great little piece, something you're definitely going to want to add to your collection, solely because these are only going to increase in value and become harder to find as the molds for this particular machine has already been destroyed. So thank you guys for everything. I really appreciate your continued support and contribution here at Diecast Emporium. So take care, and we'll see you in the next video.